Is your dog fussy? And you're just asking yourself, how do you get a fussy dog to eat? Well, stick around and in this video, I'll give you my top tips to get your fussy eater eating the food you want them to. Hi, I'm Dr. Alex from ourpetshealth.com, helping you and your pet to live a healthier, happier life. So if it's your first time here, consider subscribing to make sure that you don't miss out on videos just like this one. So I was asked by Kay, who's got a four month old Labrador, to make a video on getting fussy eaters to eat. So here it is. And my first thought is always, are they actually hungry? Now it's very easy to overestimate the amount of food that we think that they should eat, especially if we're giving them a biscuit, a kibble, because it's actually really energy dense. So often we'll be putting the food down in their bowl, we'll probably be putting maybe a little bit too much down, and often the packages actually do slightly overestimate the amount that we should be feeding. So we're overfeeding them and they're not actually finishing what we want them to, or what we think that we want them to eat. What we then do is we go and put something really tasty down and they go and eat it and we say, oh, they must be hungry because they've just gone and eaten that food. The comparison that I make is if you had a toddler and they were full with their normal meal, but you then gave them a chocolate bar, what do you think would happen? They'd eat the chocolate bar and it's the same with our dogs. So they might be full already, you give them something really tasty and they just can't help themselves. You might also be giving them too many treats, too many table snacks and other things. So actually by the time it comes to meal time, they're not hungry. So what you can do here is you can find out your pet's body condition score and I've got a link to doing that just down below in the description. And once you find out their condition score, that lets you know if they're a healthy weight, if they're overweight or if they're underweight. Um, and if they're a healthy weight or if they're overweight, you know that they're getting the energy that they need. And that means that you don't need to worry about how much they're eating if they're overweight. That actually says that they're eating too much. And if they're a healthy weight, great, no need to worry. They're getting their requirements and they're getting what they need. If you're then wondering, well, how much should I actually be feeding my dog? Well, if you sign up to my newsletter, and again, the link's down below in the description, then I've got an excellent calculator that lets you know exactly how much your pet should weigh ideally based on their body condition score, and then how much you should feed them either to maintain their healthy weight or to help them to lose weight. So yeah, check out the link below and sign up to the newsletter to get that calculator. Right, so the next thing to ask with any fussy eater is, are they actually healthy? Now, if you've had a dog, or if you've got a dog that has always eaten really well and all of a sudden they've gone off their food, they're a little bit picky, they're not eating with the normal voracious appetite, then you know that might suggest that they're not healthy. Are they vomiting? Have they got diarrhea? Are they starting to drink a little bit more than normal? Or do you see them urinating an awful lot more frequently? Again, those are all signs that there might be something wrong. Are they actually losing weight? And are they losing weight quite quickly? Again, that's a real flag that something's wrong. We also then move to the mouth. So oral health can obviously play a role in appetite and pain at eating. Do they have dental disease? Have they got lots of yellow plaque and tartar over their teeth? Is the line of their teeth and gums, is that really red and inflamed? Do they have marked gingivitis? It might even be bleeding in some cases. Have they got broken tooth? Is there anything else that we need to be thinking about? Is their breath really smelly? that may signify either a dental or an oral health issue. So if you've got any of concerns about any of these, then you should definitely be getting your dog checked out at your vets just to check that they are healthy and there's nothing else we need to worry about that could be causing their reduced appetite. And so it's not just fussy, they're actually ill. Okay, so once we've established that our dog is well, that they're healthy um, and that we've not got any other concerns, then how do we go about getting them onto the diet that we want? Well, to start with, you know, you obviously need to decide what diet you want to feed your dog. And there's a lot of different things that go into that, which is, you know, far too much to go into today. But once you've decided that, and once you know how much you should be feeding, then pop that down in the bowl, leave it down for 20 minutes. If your dog doesn't eat it, doesn't touch it, that's absolutely fine. Just take up that food bowl, put it in the fridge, cover it over, um, and leave that there. Don't give your dog any more food at this stage. A few hours later, three, four, five hours later, take the food out, pop it down again. They'll be that much more hungry and they'll likely start eating. You might though have to leave it down for another 20 minutes, take it up, put it away, and again, repeat the process. If after 24 hours, your dog really hasn't touched anything, so they haven't even had a few mouthfuls, then you know maybe it's all right then to try and give something else, something a little bit tastier that you know that they like. What you really must never do though is take up that food and immediately put down something else. Because what this does, it actually teaches your dog that by turning up their nose at 
their normal food, they're gonna get something really tasty. Again, if we go back to our toddlers, if every time you tried to get them to eat their vegetables and they turned their noses up at that and refused, you immediately gave them some chocolate, they would learn to always refuse their vegetables. So it's the same with our dogs. They're actually really good at training us to give them snacks that we really know aren't in their best health interests. Okay, so this way it can seem a little bit like hard work. We can have our dog kind of staring at us longingly, really putting on their best begging eyes, but stick with the program and you will get there. Your dog will become hungrier and then they will eat. It's just a matter of time. A really hungry dog will eat. They're not gonna starve themselves completely. Okay, so an alternative, a one that, that can work, is to actually find, just find something that your dog likes. So find any food that your dog likes and that they really enjoy. And what you can then do is you can slowly transition them onto the diet that you actually want them to eat. So what you do is you get them eating whatever it is that they like to eat and then slowly over the course of several weeks, and for our fussy dogs, I would try and make it last for maybe three, four weeks before you're feeding the ideal diet. You slowly increase the proportion of the diet that you want them to eat um, and reduce the amount of the other diet that they're getting. So that way, that transition is really slowly. They're not likely to notice it happening. And within three to four weeks, you'll have them eating the diet that you want them to eat quite happily. Okay, so a couple of other things to consider. One would be to try and walk your dog, give them a lot of exercise just before meal time. So, you know, they're running around, they're playing, they're exercising, so they're building up a real appetite. And so by the time it comes for dinner, they're that much more hungry and they just get stuck in and tuck in. Another thing to do is to actually just put your dog's food down and leave them to get on with it. So walk out the room, don't kind of hover over them anxiously because they pick up on our vibes and if they're thinking, oh, what's going on? Why, why is my owner anxious? You know, that's gonna make them uptight and maybe make them less likely to eat. So just pop their food down, walk away and see how they get on. And then another tip is to actually feed your dog and let them eat before you start preparing any of your meals because what this will mean is that your dog's not kind of looking up and not smelling all of these smells of the food that they're not getting and so they're just focusing kind of entirely on the food that's down in their bowl. So for those dogs that really don't want to eat and this is actually something that can be really beneficial if our pets are unwell if they're not feeling you know quite their normal self is that we can add a little bit of water to their food we can actually warm it up which makes it smell that much more strong and more appealing so that can get our dogs who are maybe not quite so hungry um, to eat or we can add something like a broth so um, the broth of um, some boiled up chicken or some vegetable broth we want to make sure that we avoid anything with a high salt content and any additives or anything like that so kind of homemade would be best of course but um, yeah, adding a broth can just add that little bit of flavor um, and for those dogs that kind of are unwell um, and really need a bit of extra encouragement then just kind of hand feeding them can really make the difference as well you know that's not something that i'd expect anyone to do every day and it's certainly not something that we should be doing to get our fussy dogs to eat but if they're you know a bit off their food for whatever reason then that's a tip that can help get them eating okay and then my final tip would be to maybe just add some raw vegetables so raw carrots broccoli green beans or something like that to your dog's food and that may just provide that little bit of extra flavor um, that little bit of difference in texture that just encourages your fussy dog to, to eat the food that you're giving them um, as a bonus you know these are all healthy options they're all low fat options so they're really good for the health of your dog anyway um, and not too much effort to prepare you know intermittently or on a daily basis okay so those are all my um, tips for getting your fussy dog to eat. So I hope they found them interesting and useful and I hope a few of them work for, for your dog. Now, if like Kay, you've got any questions, if there are any video topics that you'd like me to cover, then please leave a comment down below and I'd love to hear from you. Also remember to subscribe to make sure that you don't miss out on future videos just like this one. And if you hit that bell notification, you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. Um, and until next time, I'm Dr. Alex from Our Pets Health, because they're family. I got a fly.